used with no dye or fillers because we live in an age of plastics from the ocean shore to the himalayas the planet is littered with bags bottles and other objects born from plastic at times it seems plastic trash will haunt us for centuries if not millennia yet not all plastic leftovers are durable or worthless in fact Museum conservators are fishing for ways to prevent priceless plastic artifacts from breaking down. Nearly every museum in the world houses plastic objects. Vintage phones, Disney films, the first artificial heart. These and other plastic artifacts are made of synthetic polymers that are vulnerable to decay. Unstable plastics can be found in things like early billiard balls, old legos and foam art masterpieces from the 60s over time these plastic materials and even fairly stable ones like pet found in water bottles and food packaging can degrade sometimes oozing out additives and melting into sludge oxygen heat and light are often implicated in this carnage but different plastics respond differently to such environmental factors Because plastics come in so many varieties, conservators sometimes can't tell exactly what materials are in their collections, which can hinder efforts to preserve artifacts. Some conservators have used sensory data, such as the sound, feel, and smell of plastics, to tease out the material's identities. A vinegary scent, for instance, signals cellulose acetate. Celluloid one of the earliest of plastics conservators also have turned to controlled experiments to get a grasp on how plastic artifacts degrade one study simulated the plastic fabrics in modern raincoats you might think that storing them at the coldest possible temperature would best preserve them but these fabrics turned brittle and were pocked with holes after deep freeze storage storing them at a milder 4.4 degrees celsius prevented this problem still Running experiments to help preserve museum objects can be tricky. Over the decades, modern plastic manufacturers have switched up their recipes for making polymers. They now add ingredients such as stabilizers and flame retardants. Old plastics didn't contain those ingredients, so conservators who want to save older polymers need to make historically accurate versions to test out their conservation methods. With this in mind, scientists at the Getty Conservation Institute Page through old tray magazines and dug up the exact ingredients of past plastics recipes. After mimicking the recipes, the scientists are now running stress tests on their new old plastics, with an eye toward artificial aging tests down the line. Saving plastic artifacts is more than a matter of nostalgia. These objects may serve as time capsules for future civilizations to understand our own. just as stone tools have taught us about the stone age losing these ubiquitous strands of polymers could mean losing a human era to antiquity our only two of the many plastics now in